Look, he's a lightweight. The race for the White House sounding more like a schoolyard brawl. I am not afraid of Donald Trump. Former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg and President Donald Trump used to lavish praise on each other. You have been a great mayor. If there's anybody that has changed this city, it is Donald Trump. Yet now, as political adversaries, they're very publicly sparring this Twitter exchange devolving to name-calling Trump, calling Bloomberg a loser. Bloomberg going just as low. People are calling you a carnival barking clown who squandered a fortune on stupid deals. Before Mike, we were desperate. Mike Bloomberg continuing, though, his concerted push for the African-American vote while scooping up endorsements from African-American congressmen and mayors, although some of them seem only lukewarm. None of them have or come with a 100 percent scorecard uh, when it comes to issues of the uh, of African-Americans. So they all have to uh, deal with that. This comes as Bloomberg's own words are wounding him, dredging up past support of stop and frisk, a policy ultimately struck down by the courts. 95% of your murders and murderers and murder victims fit one and all. Bloomberg apologizing for those remarks. And now another divisive policy Bloomberg supported, redlining, which unfairly precluded families from getting mortgages based on their zip code. There was a lot of pressure on banks to make loans to everyone. And then Congress got involved, as local elected officials as well, and said, oh, that's not fair. And leaving no stone unturned, Bloomberg is relying heavily on social media as well to get out his messaging, including paying digital influencers with millions of followers to run memes on their accounts about Mike being the, quote, cool candidate. His team said that they're just being innovative and that straight up tweeting from at Mike Bloomberg is just so 2008.